What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Four Strategy Gaming and the continuation of our lore and commentary full playthrough of the Diablo 3 beta. So last we left everyone off, we, uh, well, looks like, oh, do we have, did we listen to Lay's Journal Part 3? I believe we did. Let's go look for another part of Kane's Journal. So we are in search of the Shattered Crown. And this, of course, will allow us to uh, go towards... Here we go, Deckard's Cane Journal Part 2. I thought there was this. All right, let's listen. I wish that Leia could live a different life, a more normal life. But alas, such is not her fate. When I pass, there is none but her to continue my work, and the future of this world hangs in the balance. All right, so last we left off, we, uh, we are in search of the Shattered Crown. A shattered Leo crown, spent all in fact. Night alongside the blacksmith's wife, tending the wounded. So let's go Did find that. Old Rumford has us down to Let us go find that. And if you are just tuning into the series, you certainly want to go ahead and uh, watch the first part. We're doing a full playthrough, listening to all the lore and conversations in the game. This guy's gonna say anything to say. There's a big pack coming this time. Not. Stand your ground. All right. Look at that already. Some new lore. Scavengers are ugly, pathetic creatures who survive off of carrion and corpses too diseased to attract any other carnivores. I did once meet a raggedy fellow who claimed that he had trained one of the beasts to bring him large rats to eat. <laughs> but I'm sure the story is utter nonsense. <laughs> that guy. An interesting fellow. Alright, so, um, you know, we're, again, uh, I mentioned this in the last, last commentary that we were doing here. We'll probably be doing a full explore with this as well, just to make sure that we get any, uh, any of the possible lore books that may be kind of hanging around. I'll taste your fear. And I should have a new skill slot, as well as sleep attack, and I'm going to pick that up right away. This is one of my favorite spells. Most definitely one of my favorites. All right. I think, yeah, I think we're good. We're on track here. We've listened to all of these throughout the course, so we'll just be continuously picking up some more. Now, I am also working on the uh, the banner video. I've had many requests for that. It was kind of tough because there's not a whole lot to show, but I just, I went, I basically went through and just took a look at all the options for the uh, the banner in Diablo 3. So you can take a look at that video, and uh, hopefully that keeps you guys entertained. And we'll be trying to do some more co-op things. You know, I mean, again, it's running through the same content, so um, eh, it's kind of it's kind of rough because it's you know people are definitely starting to lose interest uh, in the fact that you know they're seeing the same things kind of over and over again. So, uh, but I'm still I'm trying to keep things a little a little uh, consistent, I'm trying to pace things out and uh, keep it interesting for you guys as well by mixing things up a little bit, doing like, you know, I did that speed run with Trump and uh, that video with a theme in which we just talked about like the auction house and PvP and all sorts of other things. So I, I will be doing future content like that with co-ops, uh, just talking with people about the game and stuff like that. And look at this, the Den of the Fallen, level one. There's gotta be lore for these things, huh? I would have to imagine. There it is. I was able to trace some carrion bats back to one of their nests. What I found shocked me. The nest itself is a living organism. A mature bat that has been mutated by the darkest of magics. I no longer doubt that demonic forces have corrupted these creatures. Hmm. Was there any for the Fallen? No, I don't see a, I don't see a lore book for the Fallen. The Fallen aren't actually in here, but this is the Den of the Fallen. Fallen, of course, being from... The previous titles, the previous installments of Diablo. That'd be awesome if they talked about them. A little disappointed that they aren't. In all honesty, my friends, in all honesty. And I'm obviously still in the position where I'm hoping and praying that they add more content to the beta. I, I, you know, I really, I just want to see some more stuff. It doesn't even have to be more, um, more of the act. We could do, how about this? Give me an infinite dungeon to play in the Diablo 3 beta. <laughs> just give me an infinite dungeon. Do you give me that? We all set. 
<laughs> people would literally play that nonstop. Infinite dungeon of increasing difficulty and the ability to level past 13. You add that to the beta and people will play it all day. All day, literally all day. No questions asked, that would happen. So do that, Blizzard, and you will get, you. Will, okay, we're gonna go through there, but first I wanna finish. I gotta make sure we have uh, uncovered all the aspects of the rest of the dungeon here. Um, you, you add that to the beta and there will be people playing it nonstop every day, all day. And then that's, you know, that's going to be a great way for you to test your servers. I mean, that's the whole point of this beta. It's not a contest test. It's not, it's not a content testing beta. It's a hardware server testing beta. And if that's, in fact, the case, as you say it is, lovely friends at Blizzard Entertainment, then uh, you want us playing consistently so you can constantly test the stress on your servers. So, add, add a reason for people to play consistently, and there you go. All right? Exactly. Okay. Ooh, there's a chest. Things good in there. Probably not. Yeah, just a bunch of crappy gold. Ugh, I am disappointed. Still got over here to check out though. That's absolutely nothing. I bet that little corner. I bet that little corridor is going to be the exact same thing. A whole lot of nothing. We can always hope. For more though and we've got this week's diablo cast coming up our diablo 3 podcast that is that takes place live every friday there is not a set time necessarily we generally do it around 4 p.m eastern standard time between 3 and 4 p.m eastern standard time is typically when we'll be starting the podcast we'll last about an hour and even if you don't check it live uh, you can watch it live on my channel by going to the youtube.com backslash or forward slash whatever force sc2 strategy and uh, on the channel there'll be a live tab right at the top of where all the videos are and uh that's where you can watch the live videos but again if you don't if you don't make it to if you don't get to see a live they are uploaded to youtube after the fact usually about an hour after at which point you can watch them uh at your own leisure or leisure more chest not a whole lot more baddies here we go Arcane enchanted. Most annoying to deal with. Just do so much damage. A little different when you kind of twinked out a little bit. But again, we're looking specifically at the lore here. Not a lot of conversations taking place down here, huh? <laughs> I guess all we uh, uncovered here in terms of lore was the uh, that one lore book. Guys. Only the main guy actually ends up spewing that la lava, huh? Poo. Take out that guy. Page of training, don't need it, but. Hand axe, don't expect that to be good. No, it's not. Okay, here we go. Resplendent chest with absolutely jack squat in it. Okay, that's disappointing. Shoulders? No. No shoulders. Let's go back to the Weaving Hall. Well, guys, that, uh, really disappointing. <laughs> the final chest in there was, uh, not worth my venture. And we didn't even pick up much more lore, huh? What a load of crap that was. All right. You wilt against my blows. <laughs> okay, more dudes over here. Ooh, really? Hello? Hello? I'm clicking. Oh no, are we lagging? Really want to listen to that. Might be lagging out though. No, we're not. What is going on? Oh, I found a bug! Someone report this to the bug report forms. I am spamming on that, but we are not. This is really frustrating, especially since I know you guys want to listen. <laughs> oh man all right well let me do it <clears throat> during the last days of king lyric's reign even the skeletons of the ancient dead could not rest they took up their broken armor and weapons once more ready to cut down anything that yet drew breath though wasted and fragile these creatures possess a twisted cleverness that makes them quite formidable 
We cannot hear that in the voice of Deckard Kane. I will not even attempt to replicate the voice of Deckard Kane. <laughs> and, uh, oh well, at least you guys got to listen to me talk about it. So that's cool. That's neat. I'll have to check that javelin. If that's anything, probably be the blacksmith's apprentice. Yeah, nothing. Oh, here we Adric go. should be told of his fate. I, I will tell Adric of his fate. In level seven, wow. You level uh, quite quite much when you're uh, when you're doing the full explores and killing pretty much everything you walk across. I'm still peeved about this skeleton. Come on. That's a bug! Someone please report it. No one else does and I will. It could very- that's, I, that's gotta be something that's on the forums already. I'll take a look though. After done recording, I'll take a look. So that's one of those nifty little things that you uncover during a beta test. Now, I think I talked about this in the last uh, Let's Play. Basically just mentioning that um, they, they haven't really patched much. There's been a couple of patches to the beta, but um, really major issues. But things like the lore book, apparently they don't consider major. And uh, like the resources, they haven't been changed either. Um, so we're still sitting with the same resource system. Look, it's just massive damage from those guys. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, they're not. Uh, they're doing a lot of that testing internally, and that's it. That's basically they're 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 comfortable with just that internal testing and not not even bothering patching the stuff into the beta so they could very well know about for example that lore book that doesn't really do anything <laughs> but they may just be deciding to not bother to patch it they'll fix it internally and then maybe at some point in the future we'll see a patch or maybe we won't maybe we'll just have to wait to release it just goes to show you again the not the attitude towards it. I don't want to make it seem like they're like, oh, this beta is stupid. The beta is stupid. We do not care about it. That's not what Blizzard is saying, but it, it just goes to show you the focus of their beta and how it's clearly not gameplay focused as much as it is the server stuff. So so that's how it is, guys. I mean, that's what this beta is for. This is, you know, Blizzard doesn't have to beta test and open it up to us people. They don't have to. They chose to, and they chose to for specific reasons. And, uh, Stuff like that lore book or instantly changing the resource system to how they want it to be isn't a top priority. So so there it is, guys. That's all there is to it. That's all there is to say about that. Some of these guys here. There's a little corpse down here. What are you guys doing? Okay. <laughs> oh, moon physics. How hilarious. What a riot you are. We've uncovered a lot here. Still haven't picked up any lore from this. I could, s I swear that there, there's a book somewhere. I don't remember for what event though. I don't entirely remember. All right. All right, sorry there. You might know a little hiccup. Might notice a little hiccup in the recording. I had to uh, pause momentarily, but we will pick it back up here. Keep on rolling. Girlfriend's calling to tell me to order dinner. <laughs> no, I told her I will go to the grocery store and buy the items for you to cook me a dinner, and that is what we will do. <laughs> Oh yes, you've got to lay down the law, my friends. You must. So once she gets back from work, I will get a cooked dinner. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I said fine, I'll order. But I, I, I wish I was getting a cooked dinner. But we will do things your ways. And cats, stop running around. You are seriously annoying. I don't know what it is, but cats go crazy at night. If you guys have cats, you might notice this. They just, hey, hey, it's nighttime. Oh, oh, gotta run around. No, don't be an idiot. Just sleep like you did for the rest of the day, please. Especially while I'm recording. This is not the time to be thumping around my apartment. I will make them outdoor cats if it comes to it. 
Alright, time to focus in. There they go. Uh, <laughs> time to focus on the game. <laughs> Make sure we're, uh, I can ramble at times. It's okay. Yeah, that's part of my undiagnosed ADD. I am convinced that if you're a gamer, you probably have some form of ADD. Even if it's slight, I am almost certain that... Just take a look at your behaviors and and tell me that it's not reminiscent of someone with diagnosed ADD. Short attention span. Love watching YouTube videos. <laughs> Back to hell. Hate commercials. Oh, all these things. All these things. All right. Cleave, cleave, cleave. And then, of course, for good measure, leap attack and hammer the ancients. Glorious. How could people not love this class? Clearly the best class. Barbarian is clearly the greatest. Alright, let's keep going. Keep on trucking. All right, it's a filed crypt. One of three, is this going to be the correct one though? Hmm, is it? Can't tell quite as of yet. As we get further in though, I usually have a better inkling. If, you, if basically, if you run into a crypt and you've got one of the two events, um, the ghostly lady event or the jar of souls event, then you are not in the right one. Because neither of those two ever lead to the uh, second level. Here we go. The tragedies in these lands have left many restless spirits in their wake, and they demand retribution. These spirits will take out their vengeance on any unsuspecting individual who may pass, for they believe that the blood of the living will yet restore the lives that were ripped away from them. And another. Demons have been known to devour their own young when no other nourishment is available. Their offspring, the imps, sometimes manage to flee and band together with other demon spawn. They rove in vicious packs, ready to descend upon the unwary traveler and rip his body to shreds with their tiny needle-sharp teeth. Imps creep me out. They really do. Really creep me out. Make sure we didn't ca catch this any other ones the there. Ghost Imp. The crown. And this the was the wrong continues. one. This was the wrong crypt. So, as our good friend Lore Barb says, the search continues. There's our waypoint. This is not it. Oh, yeah, easily the best class, though. I mean, come on, Barbarian. Hands down. The greatest. All you naysayers, naysay elsewhere. Attempt numero dos at the defiled crypt. There we go. Extra magic and gold find. 25%? That is. Pretty sure that's a 25%. Maybe that was just 25 plus, but. Like a percentage sign. If so, that, my friends, is pretty strong. Pretty strong indeed. Teleport or huh? not. Rarely see those things teleport. <laughs> Once before they get the hammer to the face. Okay. Alright, let's switch things up a little bit here. Get rid of cleave. We'll go back to bash. Instead of hammer, we'll take weapon throw. Instead of leap attack, let's take ground stomp. That'll be my AoE for now. Not the best though. And yes, here it is. I am on the right path. The crown must be near. I believe it is, Lore Barb. I believe it is. Uh, that stomp did not work on him. A new lore, though. The unburied are formed from human corpses that were flung into mass graves without a proper burial. 
This hideous amalgamation of bodies decomposes together into one being, bound by some foul magic. For all my knowledge, I could only flee from it, and I would expect any other sensible person to do the same. I'm sitting with a lot of AoE here. You wilt against my blows. It's all right, though. It's okay. No, I will not allow you to bring that monster Leoric back to this world. It's not up to you, buddy. Still recharging. Okay, time to go back to town. Great. Don't need that gut better magic find. Get rid of all this stuff. Here we go. More conversation. You found the crown. Truth be told, I didn't think you'd make it back alive. Ah, it needs repair. Should be no problem. It's good to work again. There. New as the day it was placed upon the Black King's head. I need something more than making spades to occupy my mind. I want my life to mean something. Then follow me and hone your skills. There is deadly work to be done, and I will need your arms. I have grave news. Your apprentice is dead. Fool boy. Hope for the worst, and you will not be disappointed. Thank you for the news. All right, I think we've got some more things in town here to take a look at, too. Talk? Let's talk about, let's talk with you for a moment. What are you doing here? Your wife's body is barely cold. I buried her, and now there's work to be done. There is no weakness in mourning, Blacksmith. When I was a pup, a cowardly warrior of Westmarch shot my father from safety within Bastion Keep. I held my grief inside my teeth as I hauled myself up the wall by hand and screamed it at the cur as I choked the life from him. Those who make themselves hard make themselves brittle. You are no good to me, Broken. I don't want to talk about my wife. Dead is dead and gone is gone. Do you want work done or not? Okay, next. <laughs> uh, that's no good. Guy needs to learn to mourn. How about your grandfather, sir? You said that your grandsire was King Leoric's chancellor. Tell me of him. Not much to tell. I lived with my father in Chaldeum at the time. We heard that my grandfather stayed in Tristram until the end, trying to save lives. Don't know if he succeeded, but there it is. When the Skeleton King fell, my grandfather was dying from a sword wound. He had the crown sealed with him to keep it safe. Your grandsire was a hero in his own way. You should be proud. Excellent. Well, that is all the conversation with Hadrig. Now, what is this? What is that? Oh, mirror's letter to Hadrig. My dearest Hadrig, do not feel despair, my love. You did everything you could. Our time together meant more than words can say. But in the end, fate is a cruel mistress. Your strength is needed to end the horrors that beset this world. My final wish is that you find your path. Love always. Mira. You can't believe that the barbarian just actually took that. <laughs> it doesn't seem right. So this is how it ends? They dragged my cart from the road, but for what? I can't get it repaired. Might as well dig a hole and die in it. And then you would rise as a shambling corpse yeah, this. and find my blade buried in your skull. You still live. Make the best of it. Yeah, we already heard that. Any more conversations here with Leia? Already listened to those. And yes. Leoric's crown has been reforged. Ah, at last. With it, you can unlock the sealed door in the room where you rescued me and enter the royal crypts. 
When you find the Skeleton King, place the crown atop his head and destroy him. I will crush him and find the Fallen Star. Excellent. Very excellent indeed. Just take a look. I want to check if there's any more updates from Kane. Nope, nothing there. And then I will check one more time to see if there are any updates from Miss Leah. Hmm? Nothing. All right. Well, no more updates from those two. What's this guy got to say? Lead out the old town and rescue Deckard Kane. I'm never betting against you again. <laughs> Was it the Skeleton King meant to be dead? I mean, I know he was dead, but wasn't he supposed to be really dead? He should have the decency to stay dead. Again. Was it the Skeleton okay. King meant to be dead? I already heard that. You know what would take everyone's mind off their troubles? One of Theodos' great comedies. I've seen one of them. Two men dressed as women screeching at each other and tearing their bodices. Huh, a Jimmy Ryder. Glad to hear it. Rehearsals in three hours. <laughs> All right, my friends. Well, that's actually going to do it for this second installment. I did just want to run around town just to see if there was anything else that we happen to miss. Uh, let's see if Deckard Kane's got anything else to say. We have heard all of those things. All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. Again, this is the second installment of our Diablo lore, uh, lore book and commentary and uh, conversation full Let's Play. Now, in the last part, we'll be actually working our way through the levels of the cathedral up into the Skeleton King, and that will be the third and final installment of this Let's Play. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, you did enjoy this second installment. Uh, keep watching and keep owning. Get out of here! Hold on. Run! <laughs> it's a little contradiction there. <laughs>